Okay, I saw the reptilians are still active this morning. Horrible energy again this morning. What is the energy? Uh, well... It's very heavy energy. It's very heavy again today. What does it mean? It means if I have to work hard just to breathe, that's heavy energy. What am I doing breathing in that energy? I'm breathing in. I'm breathing out. What does it do the energy? Um, it should dissipate the energy. Just being here, this is our teaching from Eckhart Tolle and the pain body. He taught us that in his first book, the power of now so it's just you know what the teacher teaches us be present in the present moment be here in this energy field there's nowhere to go there's nothing else to do you just be here breathe in the energy and breathe it out it's just a heavy, 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 heavy. It's like a heavy blanket over you that wants to smother you. Smothering energy. It's, um... How long is it going to take to dissipate? I don't know. We had this energy yesterday for a while. I don't know. Could be here for a couple hours. Might be gone in 20 minutes. But it's still here. Why does it come to me? Oh, it's probably around everybody. Uh, it's just that, you know, you have to get your... Uh, you got to get yourself up on the scale of consciousness. Well, the more people that get up, the more people that can help me out. Because nobody else is dissipating this shitty energy. Because everybody's sitting on their ass. As usual, it's lazy man, lazy man, lazy man. What is it? Just sit in your stance, low vibe, sit low vibe, and, you know. Then what? And then people that are high vibe, we got to do all the work. That's just pure laziness. What work? Well, sitting in this. If you go sit in here at high vibe, it's hard to sit in it. Because it's low vibe energy. So what happens? Low vibe energy's got to be transmuted. Who does it? High vibe people. Is it fun? No. Do we get paid? No. What else? Well, we get uh, we get hacked by all you low vibe people. You take advantage of us. We're doing uh, service to the world, transmuting all this shitty energy from previous generations. Earthbound spirits? I don't know. Earthbound energy, shitty energy from the past, thousands of years old could be. Well, I mean, we came out of the past. Our history on planet Earth was a low vibe. Really, really low. A hell world. Low vibe. Lots of nasty interactions between humans. Vicious, violent. Horrific, terrorist kind of energies. I don't know. I'm going to go back way to ancient Rome. The way they traded people in the Colosseum, horrible, horrible, horrible energy, horrible stuff. It's all got to be changed. And so many people are just fucking fat and lazy, sit on their fat asses, low vibe, keep drinking, keep eating your chicken wings, keep watching the fucking boob tube. What's going to happen to those people? Well, we warned them for a long time. Age of Aquarius, the song came out in 1969. That was the notice, the wake-up call, the shift of ages. 1987, the first time ever, humanity as a whole left negativity, hell, and inched into a positive territory. But there's a lot of laggards, a lot of just lazy, lazy people, stuck-up people. These people are just stuck-up. They think they're better than everybody else. They don't want to do anything except what? They enjoy being a stinker. They love just being a fuckface. Nasty fucking people. Nasty energy. Yeah, just, just evil. evil. Criminal. Yeah. Like I said, terrorist. Terrorist energy. It's just horrible energy. 
So, here it is, another day, high vibe people, me, I my bitty part, yeah. Because you fucking people aren't doing the work. This is supposed to be a group effort, Earth Ascension, the fifth dimension. It's not supposed to be some of us doing the work and the rest of you eating your chicken wings. Anyways, you know who you are, I know who you are, and then what? Well, I don't know. Are you going to make it to the fifth dimension? I don't think you're going to make it at all, because you're not aligned with it. What are you aligned with? Dying. I expect a lot of 3D people, low vibe people, people under 200 in the scale of consciousness to simply die. When? Today. Massive, yeah, I expect a massive number of people to die. They'll probably call it Rona or something. Whatever they're going to call it, they're going to have a lot of dead people. I don't know. Lots. They're all supposed to go. People who have decided that they don't want to go to 5D. They decided on, so I don't know. I don't know. I expect you're going to see a lot of people in your own life drop dead mysteriously. They'll probably call it the Rona or something because they're just going to do that, but it's not. These people have decided just to be fuck-faced and they don't want to go to the fifth dimension. They don't want to live 5D. They want to abuse other people forever and forever and forever. Cycle of abuse is what it's all about. <clears throat> That's what those people are addicted to. And this is all I'm telling you. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. Surprise, 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 surprise. Either you get ahead of the curve, you raise your vibration, or you're going to die. And then when you die, what's going to happen? Well, in the olden days, you'd recycle. You know, you'd come back either as a, another human or you'd come back as a bird or a scorpion or something. Reincarnation. That cycle's over. No more reincarnation. What have we got now? Well, we got 5D Earth. Where is it? Well, it's right here. You can't see it. Well, I can't see it neither, but it's still here. Why can't we see it? Because we got all this old 3D shit. It's supposed to be just dissolving away and all the 3D people with it. That's what I think is going to happen. Is it a big deal for me and all? Get rid of these fucking people. Horrible, horrible people. Get rid of them. Just disappear like Spider-Man in Infinity Wars. Do you want to be one of those people that disappear? Yeah? Yeah? Don't do anything then. Just sit in your ass and, you know, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I don't know. If you don't believe it's going to happen, then sit in your ass and watch yourself disappear. If you don't want to disappear, you got to get out of the herb. Raise your vibration. How do you raise your vibration? Stop eating meat. Stop drinking booze. Stop watching the fucking television. Especially the TV fucking news, the radio news. It's a pack of lies. It's harvest time. You know what that is? Look up Aaron Abke, A-B-K-E, on YouTube and learn all about it. Great teacher. That's real, folks. That's real. It's real. How long have you been seeing 11, 11, 11 on clocks? Are you seeing the synchronicities? Coincidences? Do you get around certain people and, I don't know, you feel drained like they're energy vampires? And then there's other people uh, that call you an energy vampire? In betwixt and between... What else? I don't know. There's a whole pile of things that you can do to raise your vibration. Be kind to every living thing. Be kind to every living thing. In other words, stop killing animals for food. Is it so much to ask? It is for a lot of you fuck faces. It's a huge thing. I gotta have my baconator. You ain't gonna make it. You got no compassion for animals. You're not 5D person. You're a devil. Anyways, Mr. Devil, what's gonna happen to you is disappear. Bye-bye.
Do I care? Go fuck yourself. Go disappear, son of a bitch. You know better. Everybody knew. Everybody else was brainwashed and eating meat too. We're all brainwashed as kids. Tastes good. Eat it. It is good for you. Full of iron. All this fucking bullshit. Why? Because you live on chi energy. Chi. That is what your body runs on. Chi. What about all this? All this other stuff. Low vibe. When you're low vibe, you believe anything. But when you're low vibe, what are you? You're a predator and you're a parasite. You raise your vibe, you don't need to eat very much. Do you need to eat at all? No. I don't know. I went a whole month. Whole month of August 2020. 21? I didn't eat. Uh, I'm a light, light eater. Chi. Once you get to higher. You run and run. You run more chi through your system. The more chi you run through your system, the less food you need. You get powered by beautiful, clean chi. Where do you get? I don't know. Fresh air. You're gonna be in a stuffy old room. How can you live? Because it's not coming really from the air. I mean, some people say it's lovely. I mean, air lovely, full of uh, yeah, it feels good. But it's coming from. Let's say it's coming from. Mm. Life itself, life itself supplies you with chi, but you have to open up your heart chakra. The biggest problem with humans today, no heart chakra whatsoever. This is the green ray. This is green. Here, if you look at a chakra chart right here in your heart, everybody should be just glowing green. Green hearts for everybody. Instead of sending red hearts, you know, when you can send hearts, so like I love you or whatever, send green. Send green. How long? I don't know until I tell you to stop. Keep going. I don't know. Ten years. Keep sending green. No more red, no more blue, no more brown. Send green. Because we need more green on planet Earth. Love, heart. Higher love. Love for life itself and all its matters and everything. How do you do this? Well, everybody's a monkey mind thing. We all know it. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody just say nothing. What are you? I don't know. Puck faced. So, I don't know. That that's monkey mind. We don't want no more monkey mind. Because monkey mind uh, gets diverted and becomes a horrible tyrant, reptilian, horrible, horrible thing. Greedy, 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 horrible, horrible, horrible. So, you know, we don't want to lead with the monkey mind. you got to lead with the green ray of the green chakra of your high heart your heart some people they say high heart and heart are there two chakras here because i don't know because people talk about heart chakra and then sometimes people talk about high heart what's the difference between here i don't need a, i don't know we need a i don't know let's see if we can muscle test we can muscle test to see what we can get Okay, there's such thing as a high heart chakra. There's a heart chakra. Uh, there is such thing as a high heart something or other. Okay, I don't get anything. I'm getting no to a high heart. Just thump because I might need to reset my acupuncture system. If you're feeling like high anxiety, spiritual emergency, you just don't feel good, chest thump. Chest thump. This is a good way to reset your acupuncture system. Make you feel better. Okay, let's try that again. There's such thing as something that we need to know about spiritually with regard to this high heart. No. It's just green. So there's no high heart. So people who are talking about high heart, it's just bullshit. There's nothing there. That's what I get. You can do a muscle test the same way. How did I do muscle testing? I do, I've been doing it for like 25 years. So, you know, practice makes perfect. But I do it myself. So I take my fuck off finger, put it with my thumb. Hold it together tightly, stay strong, and then what I do is I hold what I, what I want to test in mind. So there's something spiritual uh, with regard to the high heart. It'll stay strong if it's true. It's not strong. Ergo, it's false. So that's how I get it, and that's how I do it.
Muscle testing. Why? Because we have to have some way of uh, getting the truth. And muscle testing is how we do it in consciousness research. If you want to find out where you are on the scale of human consciousness, you need to know. You need to know. So you do it the same way that I just showed you. Your fuck off finger and your thumb. Stay strong. Okay, we're going to talk about me. Bobby Burroughs, we have permission to calibrate his consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. I got a strong yes. Uh, this guy here, me, not the reptilian, me, I calibrate over 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 600 is what I'm getting. Peace. Okay? And that's how you do it. You just hold a statement in mind. So if you're doing, you know, whatever you're doing, let's do Lester Holt of NBC News. Lester Holt of NBC News, we have permission to calibrate his consciousness on the scale of human consciousness. Yes, we do. Uh, Lester Holt calibrates over 200 on the scale of uh, human consciousness. No, he doesn't. 190 is what I'm getting. So Lester Holt is a liar. That's what I get from muscle testing. He's a dirty, dirty son of a bitch, Lester Holt. Lester the molester, we call him. He's a reptilian fuckface. That's what I get. I've been muscle testing for, like I said, 25 years. That's what I get. What needs to happen? I don't know. NBC knows means to, needs to be abolished. All of that TV knows and all the other people, abolished. No more. Are we going to see it in our lifetime? A lot of it depends upon who. You, you, you. Because if you got a shitty consciousness like Lester the Lester, then you're not helping us out get to the fifth dimension. Are we going to get there without you? Let's see. Um, everyone on planet Earth um, gets to go to 5D, 5th dimension, whether they raise their vibration or not. No, is what I get. People who don't raise their vibration, um, what happened? I don't know. How are we going to figure this out? I have to have a statement to test. Okay. People who calibrate over 200 uh, will get to 5D when we have the compression breakthrough. No. People uh, over at 300 will be able to go. I can't do this because I'm not getting the right words. Okay. People at 540 and higher on the scale of human consciousness are eligible to go to the fifth dimensional earth. People over 400. No. People over 500. Over 540. So you have to be at 540 or higher on the scale of human consciousness to be eligible to go to the fifth dimensional earth. So if you're sitting on your ass and you're not raising your vibration, you're not going. Where are you going then? People who are under 540 on the scale of human consciousness will be transferred to another 3D planet. Nope. Um, they'll be picked up by spaceships and brought out to space. There's a plan for them. They're going to dissolve from consciousness. <gasps> You're going to dissolve from consciousness. It's the dissolution of these people. It's the end of their life. It's the permanent end of their life. Permanent end of their life. They get reincarnated. No reincarnation. Well, that's what I get with muscle testing. You want to die? You stay low vibe. Permanently deleted from existence. That's what I get. That's the carrot and the stick. The stick is, if you don't raise your consciousness, 
they're going to die dissolved and gone forever. You. You'll do anything to stay alive, won't you? If you got cancer, I mean, you go, I don't know, you do whatever the cancer doctor tells you, isn't it? Are you going to feel any differently about, you know, this problem of, you know, you and not being high vibe enough in order to uh, be in the 5D Earth? You don't know about the 5D Earth? You're really ignoramus, aren't you? Anyways. So, you don't have a choice. You must raise your consciousness or that's the end of you. Because it's harvest time. Aaron Abke on YouTube. He's a great teacher. Law of One. All about the harvest time. I've known about harvest time for, I don't know, at least 20 years. What about, the, you know, the song, The Age of Aquarius? It was 1969. Over 50 years ago. Over 50 years ago. Are you going to just keep kicking it down the line and we're never going to go to the fifth dimension? That was 50 years ago. That's a long fucking time and a lot of people have been doing a lot of work on themselves. Yes. Raising their consciousness. Yes. Dealing with fuck-faced fucking devils. Yes. We've been working hard for this project. And there's a lot of ignoramuses that are like, well, yeah, fuck off, you fucking weirdo or something. I don't know, you're low vibe reptilians, bye bye. Why do you think I gave you these warnings? It's because 1969 was a long time ago when you were told, beginning of the age of Aquarius. How long before this is going to happen? I mean, those people that sang that song, I don't know, they're like seniors, they're like, I don't know, great-grandparents or something. Marilyn McCoo, you go look her up. I don't know. She's got to be in her 80s. That's a long time ago. So, you know, some people are real Luddites or laggards. They're very late to get on the bus. Lazy, lazy, lazy people. Lazy people. Stupid and lazy. It was talked about in a clip, a famous movie, Waking Life. Still worth watching. Waking Life? I don't know. 1990s, maybe? Animated film. Ethan Hawke's in it. There's one segment where a professor is talking to a young student. And that's exactly what he says. What's the human's biggest flaw? Stupidity or laziness? I don't know. I think it's stupid not to raise your vibe. You stay low vibe, you get very sick, and you're incredibly stupid. You're like a drone, a sheeple. Raise your consciousness. If you become a superstar, you tap into the wisdom of the universe, the knowledge of the universe, the guidance of the universe. That's 5D, baby, 5D. Harmony and understanding. Go listen to that song, Age of Aquarius. Go listen to that song. That was uh, the wake-up call from 50 years ago. We've seen 11-11 for decades on the clocks. That's what it means, the synchronicities. You get the synchronicities where incredible coincidences. Then you need to watch the Celestine Prophecy movie. I don't know, rent it for under 10 bucks off the internet, YouTube or Google or something. Watch it, you need to know what's going on. Then you can go and read those books if you're a bookworm. Celestine Prophecy books. There's all kinds of stuff in order to go and, you know, get caught up in a big hurry. You watch that movie, you can get caught up in a really big hurry. Everything you need to know in that book, uh, well, there's no, but there's quite a bit. Everything you need to know in that movie, that movie, if you watch that movie, and then, uh, you know, go get the book anyway. Download the free samples from uh, Amazon. Amazon Kindle. Free sample. Get a free sample of every of the 
James Redfield books. James Redfield wrote the Celestine Prophecy books. Get a free sample of each one. Read it. Free. Do it today. Don't put it off. Because if you're a reptilian at the time, what are we expecting? A big jump. Quantum Leap. Do you remember the TV show Quantum Leap? There's another one called Sliders. They left one version of Earth and they went to another. We're doing just what that TV show showed you can do. You're saying it's just fiction. Well, why limit your imagination? I don't know. You think of any amazing engineering feat. Incredible towers in Dubai. Somebody imagined that stuff, didn't they? They took the imagination and then they took the engineering. Maybe they developed some new engineering and they built the damn towers. This guy, unbelievable. There they are. It can be done. We can slide to a better world. So apparently some people have already been there. So then they have to come back. And help us out. Help the rest of us stupid fucking reptilians. Raise your consciousness. Have I convinced you yet? I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I mean, what's the big reward? Is, is, I know. Watch the Celestine Prophecy. Watch the movie. It's worth two hours of your time.